What is good, Cardano fam, Ada Gang? We have lots of exciting updates to unpack today for the Chang hard fork around the corner. And also Vitalik has stressed the importance of decentralization. And we know that DeFi is a super important narrative. It is the narrative going into this bull run, which is perfect fit for Cardano. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. Which crypto will appreciate the most in this bull run? This is round two, a nice poll. I'm not surprised to see Cardano leading the way with nearly 60%. We saw in round one with over 7,400 votes with Cardano dominating. And again, this is a further proof that Cardano has a pulse on social media, on X, on YouTube. Don't take my word for it. Verify with Google Trends. Take a look at the analytics. The line doesn't lie, as they say. 14% of stake pools are now running Node 9.0. So we're getting closer to that 70% threshold. I'm so excited for Genesis keys being burned for us to be fully realized as the most DeFi, the Bitcoin jacked version in all of crypto. And Charles is very optimistic. And I think rightfully so. Chang hard fork, guys. Did you guys know that it's named in honor of Phil Chang, who sadly passed away a couple of years ago? Phil was an early leader in Cardano's governance and his thinking contributed significantly to Voltaire's early design. So big shout out to Phil for his contributions. I hope the family is doing good. And I didn't know. So if you know, didn't know, now you know. Let's take a look at Chris's updates. He has great updates, weekly updates. The ADA BTC pair, trend reversal in play, signaling a bullish sentiment change. And yes, we've seen that all over, plastered on X of finally, like out of the slump. And we'll take a look at price at the end. USDA, of course, it's great to have more stable coins and I'm excited to hopefully one day like see some of those massive ones. Not just the bridge, but like see Circle like openly announced like launching on cardano and what have you but who knows is it a pipe dream do we even need it <laughs> who knows nine uh, node 9.0 of course we discussed and we'll see some more updates from the catalyst fund 12 voting because uh, the voting closed so we should see the results in a week or so so good luck to everyone cardano DeFi is very much alive One hundred fifty-seven thousand visitors 2 million plus page views and here we have Mellon sharing the web analytics for his DEX aggregator, DEX Hunter, which is, again, look, 30 days, 2 million views. Added new icon using SNEC X registry to show more safety token info. We'll be improving it using more advanced data. This is great. We see like an update every day, every two days. Guys, there's projects in the top 100 that tweet like once a week as if they're an untrained, non-crypto native, non-English native speaker intern dentist if we take a look at how active cardano community is the developers it is like fuego they crank up the volume to 11. i'm not saying that cardano only i love a lot of other projects y'all know that i like litecoin i like solana but I, I really have a special love for cardano because it is the most like pro decentralized identity it is the most pro like true De defi rather than being just like you know do I need to explain some of the other projects? Y'all know. Only possible on Cardano. So, of course, MinSwap V2 went live. We'll take a look at how much faster it is. When you create orders on MinSwap V2, your ADA is paired with your wallet stake key. This means you passively earn ADA delegation rewards with your limit orders. Pretty fire, right? You heard of that before? Passively earning ADA with your limit orders. And again, this is like another beautiful thing. I love what I see in Cardano. It is just like chef's kiss. Congrats on the highly successful MinSwap V2. I agree. Congratulations. It's 12 times faster than previously. Cardano is scaling. So think about what's around the corner. Treasury, staking, native liquid staking, revolutionary ETPs with staking built into it. Wow, doing a variety of stuff, delegating a vote while simultaneously, simultaneously doing this, while simultaneously liquidity provision. It is a beautiful world for Cardano DeFi summer. The sharing economy has deployed 13 more air nodes. They are almost up at 2,000 air nodes for World Mobile. And I think that World Mobile is a fantastic project that has been part of the Cardano ecosystem. Because to me, when I take a look at their website and their eSIM and their branding, it's so professional and it's definitely one of the blue chips, in my opinion, on Cardano.
And that includes Snack and many others, but World Mobile just has that global good brand appeal. You know what I'm saying? I know it as an ecosystem, Cardano has a lot of work to do. Of course, right? Nothing's perfect in life. There's always room for improvement. Change is the only constant, as they say. But it's entertaining that eight of the 11 points Vitalik discussed all had to do with getting ETH to where Cardano is today in terms of decentralization and consensus security. Thanks for thinking this through, IOG. That's the thing. I think people, isn't it kind of like nonsense for people to just like, I love ETH, I love ETH. Like, I like ETH. I have ETH. NFTs and everything. But it's kind of bizarre for people to be bearish on a co-founder of Ethereum, especially when it's been proven to be robust and secure. And this is part of our narrative. When you guys hear on the Steve-O podcast, oh, I don't know, safe and secure, that's some classic narrative conditioning going on. That is part of the branding. But it wasn't just words. When we resisted that DDoS and it was mild at best, again, it is proving that it's a good use case. It's a good study case. So I agree. Thanks for thinking this through because they thought about this years in advance. And sometimes, sometimes, I believe with art, you got to move fast. I believe with creativity, qualitative, subjective, move fast. But sometimes some other things where there's very little room for error, you got to think it through a couple times. Like they say, measure twice, cut once. And unfortunately in blockchain, it has seemed like they're not even measuring, let alone measuring twice. And Charles is like, bun this, I'm measuring three times. I'm going to be the tortoise, slow moving turtle. And we can see that that is a perfect catapult into Q4. So... Lo and behold, uh, this was a very recent um, event. One of the greatest minds in crypto, Vitalik. I like Vitalik. I actually did try to speak to him a couple of years ago at Futurist, but he was he was really shy and like he went in a corner and rightfully so. I mean, like these guys probably are, are concerned someone's trying to grift them or like steal something from them. But back to this, I would say that the fact that near 80% of discussions are central on decentralization and security, it's evidence that these are the hallmarks going into Q4. Compliance, right? Decentralization, a lot of that is going to be key so that they don't fall under the claws of the SEC because justice takes time and maybe we're going to see worse and worse uh, rulings for projects that were, you know, years of just nonsense. So we'll wait and see. But the TLDR is that Vitalik is like DeFi, 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 which is good for ADA. Feast your eyes on the NMKR Casey. We are so very excited to announce this beautiful uh, PO app. So PO app for Rare Evo. Huge shout out to the one and only Or Times 3. We've got the only question now, are you coming? So this is in August, guys, Rare Evo. I won't be at Rare Evo, but I will be at Blockchain Futurist Conference in Toronto. I believe that's 13th to 14th. Uh, so if you guys are in Toronto area, hit me up, slide in the DMs. I would love to uh, connect if you guys are attending. So if you guys are uh, going to this event, you can see take advantage of that PO app. Uh, they're also giving some away also. So everything's linked below. They're giving away five of these as well, these NFTs, so why not? Last but not least, uh, before we take a look at price, it is not possible to drain a Cardano wallet since every transaction must be explicitly signed. Now, I suppose there is some nuance in this as well. Some of the comments were kind of adding to that. But I got to say that, again, this is always adding to the narrative of Cardano of safe and secure and trusted and chain agnostic and brand intimate and decentralized and cheap right now and highly staked and native staking. Like all these things, are they not important to institutions? They are because if they weren't, we wouldn't see Ethereum roll out stuff like Pectera, I think it's called, where they're multiplying and making more ease and, and um, UX improvements to staking. So lo and behold, I think people are playing catch up to Cardano. Last but not least, let's take a look at price guys. Now we know that Cardano hit a new all time high in 2021. Many projects didn't do that. I don't need to name them. You y'all know what they are. But looking back, you know, I've been constantly saying this uh, on, on Twitter, on YouTube, that 24 cent to 39 cent is a great buying window. If you guys took advantage of the dip, congratulations, because uh, we're already pumping. And um, I'm watching, I don't think we're out of it yet. There might be a final uh, fear. There might be a final little FUD campaign. But regardless, I think we're going into alt season. Everything signals that 
Bitcoin global search is like 20% compared to three years late uh, ago. Bitcoin dominance is very high, signaling that a alt season is imminent because people put money into Bitcoin. And then once they start going degen is when Bitcoin dominance is being lost. When we look at everything, everything is showing that alt season is around the corner. So I see some people think that like the move is to not get alt, which is kind of bizarre. It's, it's very bizarre. But what do you guys think of a uh, short term price? I think guys, what we will we'll witness is something like in 2020. You see in 2020, we we had that having in May 2020. We had of course, all, all the nonsense in 2020. And price action was kind of like sideways going down a little bit. So we may have before going into fall, kind of a rise and in, in a, in a fall a little bit. I don't think it'll go below 25 cent. But I think um, this buying window, this is the final buying window before Q1. People are also unaware to their own unconscious, like how they function. And when people are out and about summer, they're not really glued to their portfolio the way you and I are. So that dumb money is not here, especially because we're only at 20% Bitcoin global search compared to here. And also Cardano and other altcoins have been proven to be late bloomers. Russell index has been getting some, some heat and everything's shaping up even for seasonal things. Think about it. Christmas is around the corner. People think about spending. People are holiday. They get more inclusive, go more hermit into their homes. It's generally been when you take a look, you see it's, it's not coincidence to have these pumps going into the colder climates. Ultimately, guys, these cycles happen and the narratives are just the garnish. Or at best, the narratives are kind of like multipliers to make things capitulate more and play more with the feed greed, fear and greed. So will we pass the previous all time high? Absolutely. I think so with great confidence. Uh, when will that happen? I think it will be like a Q1 and beyond. I personally really think that we're going to replicate what we saw here. But Cardano may not reach its previous all time high maybe until like a few months. It takes time. People take profits from tech stocks into Bitcoin, into other projects. And so there is a sequence to this. But we're watching it unfold in real time. And so far, predictions have been pretty correct. You guys know, like I said, and look, already we're up 41. I mean, I didn't even scoop up a great dip. I got this dip. I told you guys I bought 369 and I got a little bit more LTC around $69. Um, but if we come back to these ranges, I definitely will. Will we? Maybe, maybe not. But it's always good to have some stables on the side to load up some more before we go parabolic catapult and, and just play it by ear. Sometimes you can always let a project normalize. I saw some people upset with Nike. You don't need to go all in all at once, you know, piece by piece. And that way you have more peace of mind that you're not stressed about everything you're holding because that has its toll as well. So guys, a relatively quiet day for Cardano, but price action is looking good. I'm happy that we have a little bit of green and we see that the SEC has been like taking the heat off BNB coin, many other projects, one after the other. So when you combine that with something like the fact that Vitalik is pushing for the importance of DeFi, about 80% of his topics around DeFi, decentralization, around security, it's evident that Cardano is leading the way with narrative perfect for the bull run. So let me know what you guys think. Bullish on Cardano, not bullish. Are you going to be scooping up any more? Are you guys done right now? Any other projects y'all taking a look at? Hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you guys in the next Angry Crypto Show.